Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of my Swansea career on FIFA 14 Next Gen on the PlayStation 4. I have a massive headache of team selection at the moment. We've got so many important games coming up. We've got Chelsea, as you can see. I'm going through the team. I'm trying to pick the best team that I could possibly pick to go head to head against Chelsea. We need to win that game as well. And as you can see, there's so many top players in this side that are just fatigued and they're not ready for the game because there's been so much uh, rescheduling going on because we've been going through to the next round of competitions. So as you can probably imagine, it's been an absolute drag trying to select the right players, select fit players ready for our next game because we're, we're having to play games like a day away and it's, it's just not fair. I know I always go on about it, but hopefully they fix that for FIFA 15. And some good news as well, John Matib is back in the team, so that's an extra centre-half that we can uh, we can rely on against this uh, Chelsea side in the FA Cup. Round of 16, it is the replay, because last time out against Chelsea back at Stamford Bridge, the game came to a 0-0 draw, very boring game. And now we're having to play them again at the Liberty Stadium at home. So we've got that small advantage with the home crowd behind us. So hopefully we can take Chelsea to their brink and just go for it. And hopefully on the other end of the 90 minutes, we're through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. When I saw Chelsea start 11 for this game, I was kind of shocked. I was surprised that Mourinho went for that. I mean, the only players that were recognisable in their back four for me were Bertrand and Callas. The other two... I think they might have been uh, Chelsea reserves or maybe players that Mourinho invested in for the future with the transfer window just gone in January or maybe even the summer. I know that one of the players actually came from Lyon. Um, he's, a, he's supposed to be an absolute tank. But I was confident that we was going to have a hell of a time against this back four. We was going to try and exploit them. Seeing that I was playing my full start 11 with the likes of Michu and Kanyas and dire Routledge on the left and the right we could use that pace to our advantage slip past them nice and easy and that did indeed work to our advantage Nathan Dyer swinging in across picking out the head of Michu who used his height to his advantage and just slide that ball past up into the top right hand corner past Akin Fieve and put Swansea into the lead Definitely a shock to the system for Mourinho. Just over 10 minutes gone of the game. Swansea 1-0 up against Chelsea. This is what happens when you don't start too many of your first team players. If you change your team round drastically like that. The only threats that I really saw on that pitch from Chelsea were the likes of Demba Barr, Juan Mata and uh, De Bruyne. They were the players that I was going to be watching out for. The rest of them, I felt that we could contain and keep them quiet basically on that pitch throughout the whole of this game if we could just keep it at that we'd be holding on to that 1-0 win and we'd be through to the next round of the FA Cup we got another corner saved off the line there I think that was one matter stood at the, the near post from that corner and just knocked that off the line so unfortunate we could have been 2-0 up against Chelsea momentum was definitely on our side for this game even after scoring that first goal and we was looking to out, outplay them, really. Outplay Chelsea with the passing game. It was like they was a completely new team, Chelsea, that they didn't they didn't know how to play with each other. And Michu, look at that, being hounded by not one, but two, but three defenders and still managed to fire off a shot there. It was on target. Akin Fieve managed to tip that one over for a corner. Nothing came of that, obviously. Otherwise, I would have showed it on uh, the highlights here but Nathan Dyer what a ball to Leon Britton who chested that down it connected with the chest a little bit too hard and so the loose ball fell to the safe hands of Akin Fief one matter through on goal fires off a shot thanks to Michael Form for just sticking out his, his foot and keeping the game at 1-0 to Swansea Lamar who I brought on in the second half switches the play but got dispossessed there by Shrill down that left wing could this be it? Could Chelsea get an equaliser here? Schroll picks out Van Ginkel again down the left. Swings in the ball. And just like Swansea's earlier goal, Samuel Leto connected with the ball with his forehead. Slipping that past Michael Vaughan with ease. The game stood at one apiece. And if it stood like this, the game all the way up to the 90th minute, obviously we'd be going into extra time or maybe even penalties because there will be no more replays against Chelsea. 
So we had our work cut out even though some of our players were looking dead tired and just wanted to go home and have a bath and just go to bed nice and early. It wasn't going to happen. We just made things harder for ourselves letting in that goal with some shoddy defending. We couldn't even we couldn't even contain Samuel Eto as he came on for Chelsea letting that one goal but as you can see here Alvaro for Swansea the loney who came in in the summer with a Ryan Giggs-esque run from the halfway line almost and just ran the ball into the box and slotted that one past Akin Vive. Swansea 2, Chelsea 1. On the 90th minute, surely now Swansea will be knocking Chelsea out of the FA Cup and going through to the quarterfinals. And, and this is what I mean with an inexperienced back four. If you're not going to have that many, then it's going to cost you. And that's exactly what happened right on the very last dying minute of this game. Alvaro with a shot right across the front. A goal. Akinfi couldn't even get a hand to that one. It was just so powerful. Curled away from him. And that, guys, was the full-time score against Chelsea. who managed to just hold in there for the last couple of seconds before the ref blew his whistle. Swansea have not Chelsea out of the FA Cup. What a hard-fought game against Chelsea it really was they took me to my brink and now my players are going to be absolutely knackered for that game against Arsenal there is the next round the quarterfinals we will be playing Southampton away from home should be an easy game we should be able to beat them seeing that we've already beaten them in the Premier League here is the league table as it stands we have 10 games remaining and we find ourselves just five points behind Liverpool this is it the final run now, we need a flurry of good results in the Premier League. We need to go on a run of just winning games. I don't care whether it's just 1-0 as long as we can keep picking up those three points. And speaking of 1-0 victories, we did beat Arsenal 1-0 on the Saturday after that game against Chelsea. Somehow we managed to overcome the power of Arsenal with the likes of Ozil and Giroud. <laughs> um, but you're not going to be able to see that, that those highlights, unfortunately, guys. I recorded the game. I put the file into Sony Vegas. It glitched out. All I could all I could do was hear the sound of the game. I couldn't I couldn't edit. I couldn't do anything. So unfortunately, you're going to miss that game. Sorry about that, guys. But we can call this an FA Cup special video, right? Because we're having to play Swan Swansea. We're having to play Southampton now in the uh, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So we'll, we'll just call this an FA Cup special video, right? After that weekend fixture, though, against Arsenal, thankfully we had a couple of days rest for recuperation and just basically getting the players fit and uh, looking fresh for this one because this was an important game. We've got this one and the semi, and we're in the final. If we can just do that, we're into the final. We're going to Wembley, and it certainly doesn't help when the opposition grab a goal early on in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. It's deflating. Osvaldo for Southampton straight down the middle with that header using his height to his advantage 13 minutes into the game 1-0 up still plenty of time but it, I'm sure that would have like some sort of effect on morale for the uh, for my Swansea players how does the song go don't stop believing Michu comes flying in who is on form as of late and got the equaliser for Swansea putting us on level terms once again with Southampton and I am sorry for those that are offended for that poor impression of the uh, the song by Journey don't stop believing it, it probably was pretty bad right <laughs> but this one it was turning out to be uh, enjoyable to actually play and to even watch as well whilst playing Southampton another chance on goal Vaughan pulling off a decent save just knocking that past and I blasted it out the area I, di I didn't want them to come in and pick up the loose ball and just knock it past it would have been cheap Pablo Hernandez as well I was like sat on the edge of my seat I was like oh, oh it's, go it's gonna go in but the uh, the keeper had that one covered he had that one covered all day long it was never gonna go in it was a cross it was intended to be a cross so close though and Shelby Again, another decent opportunity from my Swansea side to put ourselves into the lead. Nine minutes remaining. Michu threw on goal. What does he do? What do I do? But fire it at the goalkeeper. Would there be enough time for one final attack? No, there wouldn't because the ref is an absolute dick. 
So there we have it. Full time score. 1-1 one, one at St. Mary's. We're now going to have to replay this game back in South Wales at the Liberty Stadium. Looking forward to it as I'm sure we can knock them out just like we did to Chelsea and go through to the semis. There is the tournament tree as you can see. Arsenal are through to the semis as well as Manchester United. Newcastle and Tottenham still yet to play and of course we have to do the replay against Southampton. Anyway guys that's the end of this video. I do hope that you've all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.